Good morning, Junior Rangers. So Gondwana is home to over 30 medium to large mammal species, including the Big Five. And these animals are spread across 11,000 hectares of land. So how do our determined rangers find these animals? The answer is tracking. Our tracking is all about looking for the clues and the evidence left behind by these animals. It can mean anything from footprints to poo to leftover food, smells, sounds, the list is endless. So let's see what we can find today. So I've picked up a couple or a set of very big tracks around here. Nice big round foot. Let's see next to my foot how much bigger this is. This is an elephant footprint. And by the looks of it, this elephant is traveling in this direction. And how I know that is just at the top of the track over here, there's a mound of loose sand, which as the elephant's moving forward, his toe would drag a little bit and then would therefore kick up a little bit of sand. So indeed, by this elephant dung over here, you can see there's still a wet patch around that ball of dung, which is the urine. And the urine is usually what dries up first, but seeing as there's still a patch of urine here, it shows that this pile of dung is still fairly fresh. And I'm looking around at the tracks around this dung here, and suddenly you've got all sorts of different size tracks. There's some that are slightly larger, slightly smaller. So you've got youngsters and slightly older elephants here as well, all bunched together and overlapping around this area. So I think maybe that big elephant has met up with these guys. Got a bit of a some feeding evidence here of the elephants. It's only them that'll cause this much mess and usually like to eat these plants. You can see how the ends of these stalks have been chewed up. That's the part that they like to eat at the bottom there. Elephant dung. It's still warm, they're close by then. Alright, well we've seen some amazing tracks around here on Gondwana Game Reserve and even found some animals. But I want to take it one step further. Now most tracks we've been finding so far are by water holes or on the sides of the road. I wanted to come a little bit further into the bush around here and see what tracks you might find in this area. What kind of animals are roaming around here? Now the ground around here is too hard and also too thickly vegetated to actually find any tracks. But I'm going to cheat a little bit and make up a track patch. And you can do this at, in your own garden at home as well. You can use, I've got some clay here in the tub, you can use it with sand as well. And I've just chosen a little patch where I'm curious as to what goes on in this area. Alright, so there's our little track patch all filled up with some nice wet clay. Now you can see I've put a stone or yeah, a small stone in the middle of this clay patch. And that's because I'm going to cheat a little bit further and put some food on that stone to try and entice some animals to come across this mud and hopefully get some nice tracks that way. And food is not the only thing animals are going to go for, so I'm going to put a little bit of water here. Now the clay will hold quite a bit of water itself as well. Maybe for slightly bigger animals like a mongoose or maybe a bigger bird. There'll be enough moisture in the clay for any butterflies and smaller insects. Maybe for slightly bigger animals that water will do. Now if you were also going to put some water down in your garden to maybe see if you get any frogs coming past, always be sure to put like a stick or a stone, something in the water so that the frogs have got something to climb out of the water of again. Frogs also have got lungs like we do, so if they end up in water where they can't get out, they could very well drown. It's always nice to have a bit of a safety net for them. Thank you Junior Rangers, that's it from me. I hope you have fun tracking animals and people around your own